thank you so much, those in the room and those online. I'd um, like to welcome you to the uh, inaugural Kenya One Health Conference. And first, I'd like to invite my colleague, Dr. Bernard Bett, to um, start introducing the day. Thank you. Yeah, thanks a lot, Lian, and really a great pleasure to see all of you online and also in the room. So today we launch, uh, we, we commence our Kenya One Health Conference. And I still have two things only to do. One is, of course, to welcome you, but also to give you a short um, presentation, which clarifies what ORECA, which is the, the host um, project for this conference, does. My name is Bernard Beck, and I'm the team leader for the One Health Center in Africa. This is a project funded by BMZ. And of course, it's led by ILRI. And I wanted first to, look, to say who is ILRI before we come to the project. We know ILRI is one of the CGIAR institutions which uh, uses agriculture research to reduce poverty. Uh, and it's one of the 15 um, CGIAR centers which um, all constitute uh, that um, um, CG institutions. In, overall, we have up to 8,000 scientists, researchers, and technical staff who coordinate in one way or another to implement research on crops, livestock, um, environment, and many other sectors. Coming back to ORECA, of course, this is led by ILRI, and it, it's now in its second year of implementation. It was funded basically to do four main things, or before those four main things, the main focus is to enhance health of people, livestock, environment, and of course, uh, wildlife. But it has four main um, um, aspects. One is to support one Health initiatives, which have been set up in the sub-Saharan region where we are focusing on. And also it aims at building capacity on One Health through um, uh, studentships, also by working with communities and also by working with government institutions. Um, the third one is to continue uh, working on ongoing One Health projects. And this are mainly applied One Health research projects which aim to seek solutions on the ground. These are applied research, which then helps to formulate policies and practices, which the fourth component of uh, that objective um, uh, is on. Uh, just to come back closer into the specific activities, we have classified our work into four thematic areas and we call them food safety, emerging infectious diseases, neglected zoonosis, and AMR, that's antimicrobial resistance. Although these are thematic areas, we know there, there's really so much overlap. There's so much um, coordination across uh, these thematic areas, but we decided to classify them into those pillars for the sake of management and implementation of activities. And they also specifically focus on specific research questions, which sometimes are not necessarily uh, uh, cross-cutting um, in some cases. On capacity building, as I said earlier on, there are four, three main areas of interest, and one is uh, working with graduate fellows. Currently, we have already hired seven PhDs, five MSCs, and also working with um, uh, bachelors in some countries. And in addition to graduate fellowships and students, we also work with communities, and we really want to enhance dissemination of knowledge, working with communities on One Health, we have some satellite stations which we want to start that work immediately. And lastly, on behavior change communication, targeting value chain actors, and that could be seen to be part of the capacity strengthening um, uh, intervention. Lastly, on networks, I have a slide which follows that. And to say we started uh, this work last year where we were mapping One Health uh, networks in the region. And the region, of course, is Sub-Saharan Africa. And we already have a live uh, database, which we keep updating on which One Health is working where and what are their specific interests and how can ORECA work with them to further their interests in, in terms of uh, um, um, their influence on the ground. So that's basically what I wanted to say about ORECA. And we have a big team of thematic leaders. And you can see in the first row on the left side, including Ashni, Delia, Lian here with me, working as leaders of these thematic areas I mentioned. Uh, Dita Shinka is our PI. And he has been leading the development of the project ever since it was launched uh, two years ago. 
and Hector is our communication together with Geoffrey. And Christina is also one of our coordinators who really works with um, our partners in Germany. Lastly, we have many graduate fellows and we have a few there, I think, whom we have currently on our website. That's one uh, component of the project theme leaders. But you also have um, a list of 10 advisory committee members who are really, be, we are very grateful for their uh, guidance and um, discussions which we have to shape how we implement the activities on the ground. So you will, if you will visit our website, you'll be able to see who those advisory committee members are, as well as their contacts. And, and that could be yeah, a good way of learning more. So let me stop there and share with you, um, of course, a link for our website where you can find more material on the One Health Center. So I want to hand over back to Lian to continue describing how the conference uh, will run. So thanks, uh, Lian. Thank you so much, Bernard. Um, so just a couple of housekeeping points um, before we proceed. So we're very lucky that we're joined by many participants on Zoom today. And so please, those of you on Zoom, um, mute your mics when you join. Um, if you're speaking remotely, please turn on your videos. Um, for the majority of participants, we would like to um, capture all your thoughts um, and contributions in the chat function and to note for everybody that this session is being recorded. So why, have, why are we here today and why are we having a Kenya One Health Conference? So uh, we came together um, as a RECA with um, many external partners um, and felt that it was really um, a great time um, with, with the global focus on One Health to really showcase what is going on in this space in Kenya. But as well as using these three days as a showcase for One Health work, we want to use it to dig a bit deeper and start to develop a framework for One Health research that is appropriate to the Kenyan context. Um, and so we wish to, to use three days over different topics to identify the initial elements for a demand-driven research agenda. Um, which will incorporate aspects of capacity strengthening and really reflect the needs of the policymakers um, here in, in the country. And we'll hear from many of them on day three. So the process, um, as, as you're aware from the agenda, we will have a combination of keynote speakers. We have selected presentations. We had a very strong showing of um, abstracts um, submitted to this conference but we will also utilize audience participation and um, you'll be introduced to, our, to the Mentimeter a little bit later, which will be one of the tools we used to capture um, all of your thoughts. Our messages at the end of the conference will be disseminated through a series of blogs on social media and please see our dedicated um, conference website. Um, if you want to share any, uh, join in the conversation, please tweet retweet, um, use these, um, the at areca underscore ilri and the hashtag KOHC2021 to join in the conversation. I would really like to, to give a huge thanks to our organizing committee um, representing multiple um, institutions and um, One Health activities taking place here in Kenya. Everyone's given a, a huge amount of their val very valuable time to get this off the ground. And a particularly special mention to um, Nicholas Bohr, Rose Kellen and Jerry, Rose Manu and Jeffrey and Jenga, who have really been a, a massive powerhouse behind this. And with that, I would just like to thank you and now pass on to our Director General of ILRI, Dr. Jimmy Smith, to give some welcoming remarks as we kick off this conference. Thank you. And thank you, Jimmy. Thank you. 